Okay, so this question causes a few issues from the question set this week. It's the redox question from the halogens lesson. A student oxidized the solution of hydrochloric acid with a few drops of sodium chlorate solution. The reaction mixture effervesced and turned pale green. The gas formed bleached universal indicator paper. Write a half equation for the oxidation of chloride ions. Okay, so first off, we'll look at the oxidation of chloride ions. So chloride ions are Cl minus and they're being oxidized. Remember, oxidation is lost to form Cl2. Straight up, before we go any further, we'll balance this, and then we'll look at how the electrons are moving over. So we've got chlorine, oxidation state here is minus one, and the oxidation state of chlorine over here is zero. So in this situation, we've been oxidized, we've lost one electron. So that losing of one electron is gonna go onto this side. But of course, we've got two chlorine molecules or chlorine atoms, so we're going to stick a two in front of here, so it's two electrons. If you scroll down, then we'll have a look, write a half equation for the reduction of chlorate ions to chlorine in acidic conditions. A little bit more challenging this time, we need to remember what a chlorate ion is, so that's ClO minus, and that's going to be reduced to Cl2. Before we go any further, we'll balance that up, so we'll stick a two in front of this one, so we've got two chlorines on both sides, and then we'll also add in some water to account for the oxygens here. So we've got one oxygen here, we're gonna need, it's got two CLOs, so we've got one oxygen in the molecule, we've got two of the molecules, we're gonna need two molecules of water on this side. We'll then look at what's happening with the oxidation states. Well, this is plus one, and it's going to zero, so it's gaining one electron. If it's gaining one electron per molecule, well, that's actually gonna be two electrons, isn't it? Because we've got two ClO. So we're gonna stick two electrons then on this side of the equation. So two electrons to react with two chlorine atoms to make two Cl2, and the water's balanced there with ClO. So there's two oxygens, water's there as well. And last thing for us to do is to put some hydrogens in. We've got two H2O, so we need to have four H plus on this side. So we'll just check that and go over it in a little bit more detail. So the hydrogens here are matching up with the hydrogens in the water on this side. The electrons are combining with these chlorides, or chlorates, sorry, to form this chlorine. And this oxygen here is forming the oxygen in the water. Now, if we look down, we've got to write an overall equation for the redox reaction of chlorate one ions with hydrochloric acid. Before we go into that, we'll just quickly look at the two half equations we've got before. And we notice that we've got two electrons there on the right-hand side with the oxidation of chloride ions. And we've got two electrons on the left-hand side with the reduction of chlorate ions. So we've already got a balanced number of electrons. In this situation, if you didn't have a balanced number of electrons, you need to multiply up uh, all the reactants so you get the same number of electrons on the left side and the right-hand side so you can cancel them. All that's left to write this as a full equation is to combine everything that's on the right-hand side with everything that's on the left-hand side. So we'll start it with this. We'll do uh, 2Cl- minus from the top equation plus 4H plus plus 2E- minus plus 2ClO- minus makes Cl2, but there's two of them because one on both lines plus 2H2O plus 2E minus. Now, don't forget these both cancel. So in your final answer, what you really want to do is not include them. Okay, I hope that helps. I hope the working through shows you what you need to do for the answer to this question. Thank you very much. Bye.